I've been procrastinating on this video a lot. Yeah, it's procrastination slash avoidance. I really want to do it. It's just gonna probably be kind of hard. This is not going to be a makeup tutorial, though I may re-edit the footage of this video and explain what I'm doing. What I wanted to do today was to bring you along on the journey of reviving a character that I used to play at LARP. This character was the last character that I played in a LARP that was one of my most beloved LARPs for about a decade. It was also a community that was like, if I could describe it the best, it was like, <sighs> it was like, it's a wonderful life. Sometimes it was like the end of the movie where like everybody will give everything. There's the bank run and everybody is mad at the main character and the bank and that scene just gets really ugly. Um, you know, and everybody's angry. Anyway, so um, this character was the first time that I got to play something that wasn't in the quote unquote typical pretty category. I was usually playing elves and fae and humans and I never ventured into anything with heavy makeup and still with this character. I wanted to do something that was easy to... Oops. I really should do my ears first. Order of operations is important. <laughs> I really wanted to do a character that was at least comfortable enough. Even though it was heavy makeup, it would be very comfortable to camp in. So I have a sensitive head. I usually don't like wearing wigs. If I don't have to, at least, you know, they can be a pain in the butt at LARP, you know, keeping them secure and whatnot. So I, I kept my normal red hair and I did not wear contacts. Chose at least just to do prosthetic ears and makeup. It's practically full body makeup though. I remember the last game that made me decide this was it, that I don't belong in this community anymore. This game is not for me anymore. Being one of the people who helped behind the scenes, at least before games started, I was the person who found the campsite that we were going to play at. I was the person making the costumes and the props. And I always wanted people to feel very welcome when they came to play. And I tried to be one of the first people they met, a friendly face, let them know where everything is, help them feel included. I walked around first night of game, Friday night, and I didn't feel like I belonged anywhere. I had enough spotlight, you know, I don't have to be in the spotlight. I, I am fine being a supporting character, <laughs> not having a crew, having friends. I mean, I had friends there, but I like, they all had like their, their groups that they were a part of. I didn't really have a group that I was a part of anymore. In the past I did. <sighs> so yeah. Everyone was in their, you know, various spots, taverns, their own encampments, talking about their plans and what they were doing or, you know, messing around. But I didn't, I didn't feel like I could join them. I felt so alone and I walked back to my tent 
and I cried alone in my tent that night. Now, I did play other games after that. Like, I, I went to other LARPs. There were several different communities in the SoCal LARP, you know, world, I guess. Yeah, I kept, I kept playing some characters, playing some games, and I felt a little more included. You know, I was, I kind of always felt a little disconnected, a little guarded, you know, because I was afraid I was gonna get hurt again, you know? It always felt like I was, I was <laughs> like clawing my way to be as in love with my characters and LARP and the stories as I used to be. This character, her name was Alma Shalkis. And I actually tried to revisit what her name meant because I always name my characters after something. I believe I named her using Arabic, which is kind of puzzling me why I would name her something shoving two meanings together of Alma, which I was looking at, which meant kindness and I guess kind of a possibly even a motherly thing. Um, gentleness, kindness, and then shockus. Shockus is the complete opposite. It's very like quarrelsome, in fact, was one of the words that I saw. Huh, I guess that would kind of be like the sea. She was a pirate character, so I guess being two things of the sea where the sea could be calm and kind and gentle and also very quarrelsome. I guess maybe that's why, you know? I actually don't remember why I named her that. <laughs> when I made her, I tried to, because, you know, I, I wanted to LARP to be comfortable and fun again. I wanted to take, you know, some of the stressors off and make it fun for me. And I need to clean this. And so I, I wanted to make it just easy because I, I didn't want LARP to be a chore, of course. I, I am a, someone who does not like wearing wigs at LARP. They are, to me, a pain in the butt. And I camp. I don't like camping in wigs. Um, so I find them very not fun. So I used my, my red hair, which I thought was kind of fitting because, you know, having, having a pirate seafaring troll with red hair, one, hello, yes. <laughs> Two, it's kinda, you know, goes with the whole redheads being bad luck. Her being a female and a, and a redhead is double bad luck on a ship, so I thought that was kinda fun. So I rolled with that. And I did not wear contacts. Usually I like wearing contacts because it makes me feel more in character. It definitely makes me feel like I can transform into something else. So I just used my brown eyes. Because I also thought, yeah, that works. Trolls, brown eyes, it's the earth. I originally chose a gray granite look for her skin because then I could use, do little freckles for, I could do like freckles because granite kind of has freckly look and I thought that was, I guess, no wonder I ended up cute, <laughs> which is okay. She had a lot of blues in her costuming. Her coat was blue. After I put her together and you know, with her, her gray skin, I keep looking back at her and I'm like, she's, she kind of looks, especially after a photo shoot I did with her, she just looked really blue and I keep, you know, it was just a lot of a lot of references to Smurfs came up with her. So I just like that's not what I was quite going for. Anyway, fast forward to these days. And I don't know, she's been on my mind. She's she's kind of the character, one of the characters that got away that I wish I got to explore more. When I said goodbye to that LARP in that community, I asked the STs to just put it in the rumor sheet that she was seen jumping into the ocean, swimming off after her mermaid. Anyway, so that was that. Fast forward to the desire to do more ticky talkies, more character TikToks. I was thinking about this character a lot and how much fun she would be to bring back. 
but I didn't like her look too much. She was just way too blue. <laughs> Let's make her... What other stones would be great? Something a little more like either... How about green? Green is always a great color for for trolls. Uh, the, the trolls in this, the, this setting that I played her originally, their skin were supposed to look kind of like they were of earth or stone. So that's why I went for the gray granite. But this time, as you can see, I'm going for more of a green stone. So what kind of stones? I was, I was originally thinking like limestone. Um, and I'm talking about the stuff that we used to use for landscaping that was probably full of asbestos. It was, it was green. I'm, I'm still giving her kind of a gray base, which I feel like is very appropriate. This is getting too thick. <sighs> this is way too thick. We are using... The one thing I really like about the water-based stuff is you can just do this. It's about tinting, you know? I only use the water-based stuff in the winter. <laughs> More things I want to change about this character. I decided to go ahead and go with the, oh, <laughs> as you can see, I already did my eyes, the contacts, because I didn't want to bore you guys with struggling putting these on. Let's just tint this out, because we just want to tint. I am very hands-on <laughs> with my <laughs> with my makeup. Very, very hands-on. I'm terrible. What else do I want to change about this character? I actually decided, yes, let's go for the wig. Let's do it, because uh, that's the other thing I wanted to, since I'm just making videos and, you know, TikToks with this character, I want, why, I, I'm not gonna be in a wig forever. So I will just, you know, I can use a wig. So what colors do I wanna work with, you know? I thought about purple, that would have been pretty cool. But you know what? One, well, I'm kind of cheap and I want to work with what I already have, so I decided to go for a gray. We're gonna go with that gray, that gray one back there. I thought that that would work still with the color scheme. So what I LARP with this character again, I mean now that I'm doing a wig, I don't know, maybe not. Um, yeah, I think I would I think I would try to attempt to play this character again, given the chance. Yeah, I would. Um, other things about this character, she had a pet monkey named Aggravane, which was a reference to another friend's character. He was one of the greatest pirates, according to what this, this character had, had heard, and re you know, heard about the hero Aggravane. And so she, made, she named her pet monkey Aggravane. <laughs> I forgot what the bonus was that I used to get with that monkey. Anyway, I'm feeling better about getting getting back into her right now. Wish I had a green of these. So her her skin is supposed to be like, like turquoise or limestone. One of the interesting things about trolls in this world was that they were never really seen in big groups because of a curse. And if they were together in big groups, the curse would come back. This character had to leave her family when she was very, 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 very young. And she was on a ship. They were boarded by a pirate ship and she did not want to go to this other country. And she's like, no, I want to be a pirate. So she, she begged and the the captain saw how ferocious she was, ferocious, 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 ferocious she was. She had the spirit, chum. So the, the captain said, yes, you may be part of my crew, even though you're just really tiny and young. So she grew up on a pirate ship, pretty much. Am I liking this? Yeah, we're getting there. Boop, boop, boop. Usually during the summer, if I know I'm going to get sweaty during a game, I'm, I usually use alcohol activated. Alcohol activated makeup is fantastic. 
Getting it off is not so fantastic. It hurts. Going into a shower after game and like taking the, you know, at least 90% alcohol, rubbing alcohol and practically dousing yourself with it because that's what it takes. <laughs> not fun. It's not fun. It burns and don't open your eyes. Trust me. I know there's a lot of people out there that probably have some kind of similar experience of, you know, being in communities where once upon a time, you know, it was everything to them. And then it just doesn't, doesn't, the relationship falls apart. <laughs> or does it even start, you know? It's kind of like dating. The community is not for you. It can hurt. You gotta cut and remind yourself to move on. I'm basically filling in the blotchy spots and the spots that would look like, you know, where my skin, my my skin tone's coming through. I take, I'm just taking eyeshadow and just filling it in. I don't really need to cover really everything because I'm going to be wearing a shirt and stuff. So really just chest, neck, hands. Tell you what, I definitely need to get this in green. I didn't think about that with this. I should have, I should have ordered a green. This is the uh, Paradise AQ makeup. It's pretty awesome. I really like it. It's very light. It can get a little blotchy. You got to be real careful. It can, it can get blotchy, you get kind of thick in some areas. Airbrush would be amazing. Yeah, I think I want to make her a little more turquoise. I think I'm thinking about it, like playing with this. I did a couple makeup tests with the original version of this character before I settled on something before game, before my first game. The whole mermaid story, I had a lot of fun with that. She, uh, she definitely was Twitter pated every time that mermaid walked into game. Lose all words. She just would smile, just smile, just her brain would go bye-bye. I felt kind of bad because there was another character that, you know, was going for her. Um, she was just so infatuated with this mermaid that who is like total ignore of the other character. <laughs> It was an NPC. Both characters were NPCs. It's always good to set goals for your characters. One of my goals for this character, I, I thought it would be kind of cool if eventually she got maybe a reputation of being the stone of the sea or something. I kind of really liked that she was this contradiction. Wouldn't a, a stone sink? Nah, she defied that. So that's another reason why I thought it was really kind of cool idea of playing a pirate troll. I was first introduced to aqua makeup when I was in high school and I wanted to play a fairy. I wanted to play a purple fairy. I had to paint my whole body purple. <laughs> yeah, that was my first introduction to this stuff. I'm already thinking of things that I want to get and use for doing this. I'm to continue doing anything with this character. But let's call this a good makeup test. I'm not proud of this. A little Ben Nye, shh, don't, don't, don't tell anyone. Uh, a little Ben Nye cream. <laughs> Keep swearing this stuff off. It's not, not fabulous. We all start with the old Ben Nye. This stuff is so old too, because I haven't replenished my makeup kit since the before times. Where's your applicator, Kenzie? Where's your applicator? It's called my fingers. I I'm a hands-on kind of person. I don't want a cakey makeup look. I want, I, I always feel like when doing like fantasy colors and stuff like that with, with characters, you need to, it needs to look transparent. 
a lot of times I see a lot of makeup going on and it just looks so cakey, you know? Your skin needs to look like it's breathing. I always do my contacts first, always. Before you get the gunk on the hands, do the contacts, always do the contacts first. Then do your prosthetics, then do everything else. It's contacts, prosthetics, base, then start doing the pretty makeup. What's next? Um, I thought having her have, yeah. Golden eyeshadow would be rad. Yeah, I think it would be really neat. I mean, she's not exactly looking turquoise. Turquoise would have been another good, but you know, a fear of getting a little too blue with that. Um, but one thing I like, really like about, you know, rocks, rocks have a lot of minerals in them. Sometimes you see flakes of various things like, you know, copper veins or gold veins in rocks. So I think like having some little copper tones in areas would be really rad. Yes, a jar of gold stuff. Ooh, it's like a highlight. This is the fun part. Now we get into the detail. Yeah, give her like, kind of like gold flex. Ooh. Okay, now we're having fun. Yeah, yeah. Do the highlights with the gold flex. But it could be iron pyrite. I think we need a little more cheekers. Basically where I'd put blush, I'm putting the darker green and what's called peacock. Always paint your ears, your prosthetics first before putting them on. And so that was kind of dictating where I was gonna go with this. But I think she also needs a little flicks of gold in her ear. Why not? Just because someone says they have skin of stone. You know how many, like, Think of, start really thinking of geology. I mean, like, what if trolls also had things like rose quartz? Now I gotta go look at what I'm doing here and then like go back into some geology sites and be like, no, there's the stone. That's what she is. There she is. That's her. There, there, there she is. I still kind of want the freckles though. Should I, mm, do we want to do gold freckles? Mm. I'm going to disappoint people if I don't, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm still going to make them kind of a greenish tone. The alcohol palette. Mm, here we go. Uh, I need another little brush. Still kind of, mm. you know, maybe they should be brown. I could make some brown. Because that makes sense. Wait. Do a little brown. Gotta make, gotta make sound effects while you do stuff. There we go. Blend them a little bit. There we go. They're, they're more like flex. It's supposed to be like flex of things. All right. It's not even showing up. Nope, nope, nope. I'm fired. Let's see if this will show up. Better. All right, note to self, we are gonna get a green eyeliner. She needs teethy teethies. Of course, I've got ye old scarecrow. I use Fixident. Oh no, I don't remember which one's my right and my left. Oh wait, I do. Nope. I think you're the other one. Yep. I, this is something that I did not have with the original character because, you know, again, trying to do things like talk, eat, drink, all that kind of stuff while here at LARP, you know, it's, it's always challenging with these. The fangs are new, that's a new thing. I'm still gonna do the one tusk because I think it gives still some really awesome backstory. This could be like 
one of her mortal enemies took it from her. But we forgot our lips, so we should do our lips. I really like, I think still doing, I like doing dark, kind of purpley lips for this character. This is a stain. All right, now we'll put in the tusk. I think I want more stuff around the eyes. Let's go with, hmm, <laughs> More peacock. Love that. Oh yeah. And more copper. Yeah. All right. I think it's time for hair and clothing. Let's get it done. I might play around with some of the skin tone a little bit. We'll see. So probably you'll find out if you check out my TikToks and see it a little different shade, then you'll know. Hi, so update. This is actually the next day and I'm not fully in costume yet because wig, stuff like that, but um, I'm about to go shoot my TikToks. As you can see, I kind of refined her. Oops, I still need to get a little more green on here. Um, I kind of refined her a little bit more and uh, added more copper and gold to her highlights really went all the way with this eye makeup and yeah i did more i actually took some uh gold uh body paint that is in a powder form and you mix it with a liquid and i spritz that kind of like all over me to have her have little gold flecks so yeah i still don't know what kind of stone i am or yet uh so still still gonna be looking for that one and uh, yeah, I ended up also with this one because I'm going to a party and I'm going to sweat. <laughs> I, I ended up using cream since I don't have any, uh, I don't have alcohol makeup in, in this shade or any of these shades. So that's something I need to go out and purchase. So <laughs> I'm really excited to go do these TikToks and go to this karaoke party as Alma Shalkis. So it's a great way to get back into this character. I think I think if you're struggling with a character, maybe, yeah, just maybe do more of a go go experience a more casual setting in in that character. And uh, maybe maybe that's a great way to to go get back into the skin of the character. So right. <laughs> Gotta get the rest of the way ready. Just a sec. <laughs> 